Hi, and welcome back to Wealth Tech Digest, where I cover the weekly happenings in the digital wealth market. My name is Ned Phillips, so let's dive right in. For our first digest today, Solaris Bank has raised a considerable amount of funding to acquire Contis and expand its API-based embedded banking tech in Europe. The Berlin startup already provides a range of financial services by way of some 180 APIs that others use to build end user facing products. The startup has announced that it has raised 224 million US dollars in a Series D round that values the company at approximately 1.65 billion US dollars. With this new funding, Solaris has also announced its acquisition of one of its competitors in, in the space, Comtis. The funding round was led by Decisive Capital Management, a Swiss firm that has also backed in Shortex startup WeFox. Interestingly enough, this round comes only about a year after Solaris's last round of $67.5 million. The startup's value has also quintupled since that time. In an interview, the company's CEO, Roland Foltz, said the acquisition will help the company better cover all of Europe and start to make its first early moves into Asia. In addition, he said the new combined entity will be making revenues in the hundreds of millions of euros, having already posted 35 million in 2020. Currently, the company is active in Germany, France, Italy, and Spain, but says it can cover the whole of Europe without the need for further authorizations. On this matter, Fault said that the combined entity will allow them to look at numbers that no one else has even close to remotely. The market opportunity combined with Solaris Bank's approach and its current customer base is what attracted investors. Thomas Schleider Henriksen, a partner at Decisive Capital Management, elaborated that technology is the key to enable a paradigm shift in banking today. This paradigm shift will be centered on financial services adapting to the specific needs of customers. According to Henriksen, Solaris Bank's powerful banking as a service platform positions it perfectly for this new banking era that we find ourselves to, in today in this new realm of fintech. For our next digital transformation becomes more and more apparent at Bank of America as seen through the number of digital deposits. This comes as no su surprise Digital engagement continues to grow rapidly at Bank of America, with more clients making online and mobile digital channels their first port of call. As we speak, 85% of deposit transactions are being made through the Bank of America app, ATMs, and other automated channels. This is driven by nearly 48 million checks deposited digitally during the second quarter of this year alone. David Tyree, who is the head of digital at Bank of America, says the bank is delivering the best financial technology to help make their clients' financial lives better. As a matter of fact, more than 70% of Bank of America's clients are actively using digital channels for more of their needs. This includes 72% of consumer and small business clients, 80% of wealth management clients, and 75% of their global banking clients. One of the most popular digital products the banks offers is their life plan, which is particularly popular among millennials who use the features to track their financial goals. Not only that, but more than 21 million clients have used Bank of America's AI-driven virtual assistant, Erica. 
With this rapid adoption of digital services, it's no wonder digital now makes up 25% of small business sales, which is up from 19% last year. The trend is not just something that is popular exclusively to Bank of America clients, but it is also an unstoppable phenomenon that will dictate the future of finance as we know it in this new era of fintech. We're excited to follow along and to see how all of these new changes play out. Thank you as always for watching Wealth Tech Digest. Again, my name is Ned Phillips and I'm the CEO of Bamboo. Over 300,000 people are achieving their financial goals using Bamboo's one easy platform to help streamline portfolio management. If you would like to join a panel discussion with other industry leaders, please reach out to me on email at ned at bamboo.co or LinkedIn. Thank you as always, and we look forward to seeing you next time.